So we're given this equation dy dx is equal to x y squared. And at when, y is, when x is 0, y equals negative 1. So things we want to do is we're going to solve the initial value problem for x equals 0 and y equals negative 1. And then we want to approximate what y of 1 is using Euler's method, compare it to what y actually is at 1, find the error, and then find the percent error. So first thing is solving the initial value problem. So luckily, we can, it's a separable equation. So we can multiply both sides by dx. So we have dy equals xy squared dx. And then divide both sides by y squared. So we have y to the negative 2 dy equals x dx. Okay. Now let's integrate both sides. So the integral of y negative 2 dy equals the integral of x dx, which is therefore equal to y to the negative 1 over negative 1. Or I'm just going to write that right next to it as negative 1 over y, which is equal to x squared over 2 plus c. Right? So now we want to isolate y. So we're going to multiply both sides by y. I'm going to write that over here. Negative 1 equals x squared. Actually, first, I'm going to write this as x squared plus 2c over 2. Okay. And then now I will multiply both sides by y. So negative 1 equals x squared plus 2c over 2 times y. And then divide both sides by x squared plus 2c over 2 to get y by itself. So we have y equals negative 2 over x squared plus 2c. OK. So now we know that y of 0 equals negative 1. So y of 0 equals negative 1. c equals negative 2 over 0 squared plus 2c. So that is just negative 2 over 2c. Or negative 1 over c. So now if we multiply both sides by c, we have negative c equals negative 1, or c equals 1. All right, so move over to the next board. And now we know that y, at x, y of x is equal to negative 2 over x squared plus 2 times 1. So it's just negative 2 over x squared plus 2. Okay. All right, so now we're going to use Euler's method to approximate y at 1. All right, so the first thing we want to do in Euler's method is find our delta x or our change in x. So that's equal to xb over xa over n. So what that means is the x that we're given to look for, so that's 1, minus our initial x given, so that was 0, over how many steps there are. Our problem, we're looking for 4 steps, so n is going to be 4. So we have 1 minus 0 over 4, just 1 fourth, or 0 0.25. Okay, so now we're going to set up what Euler's method looks like. And that's y of n plus 1 is equal to y of n plus m of x sub n y sub n times delta x. And so what this means is we're looking at dy dx that we were given in the beginning of the problem for x at that value of n and y at that value of n. So in ours, we were given that that is xy squared. So really, we have y of n plus 
x, y squared, x sub n, y sub n squared, delta x. Okay, so then let's start off. Oh, so in addition to this, we want to say what all our values of x are. So we start off with x0 equals 0. And then the next step, we have x1 equals 0 plus 0.25. So 0 0.25. x2, 0.25 plus 0.25 is 0 0.5. X3 is in 0 0.75, and then X1, 4. X4 is equal to 1. Okay. So these are all our X's that we're going to use, and we need to find our Y's. So Y1 is equal to Y0 plus X0 of zero times Y0 of zero squared times delta X. Okay, so y of 0, we said, was negative 1. So we have negative 1 plus x of 0 is 0 times negative 1 squared times delta x, which is just 0 0.25. Okay, so this is all just equal to 0 because we have the 0 right there. So y of 1 equals 0. Just kidding. y of 1 equals negative 1. Okay. So now we want to find y of 2. Okay. So y of 2 is equal to y of 1 plus x of 1 times y of 1 squared delta x. Okay. And that's equal to negative 1 plus, we said now we have 0 0.25 times negative 1 squared times 0 0.25. Okay, so now I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator <laughs> and tell you that this is all equal to negative 0.9375, right. Okay, so now we're going to move back over to this board where my calculator was, erase some things, things. And solve for y of 3, because that's our next step. Okay, so y of 3, we said, is y of 2 plus x of 2y of 2 squared times delta x. So y of 2 we had was negative 0.9375 plus x of 2 is 0 0.5 times negative 0.9375 squared times 0 0.25. And that is equal to negative 0.82763671888, approximately. Let's really make that a squiggly. to show that that's pretty close to what it equals to. So I'm just going to rewrite this as negative, it's approximately equal to negative 0.828. It's an approximation. Now, the last one is our y of 4. So that's equal to y of 3 plus x of 3 times y of 3 squared times delta x. So that's negative 0.828 plus 0 0.75 times negative 0.828 squared times 0 0.25, which is approximately equal to 
negative point six nine nine two zero two four nine two eight. So this is y four. This is our fourth step. This is actually what y of one is approximately equal to. Okay. So now we've solved this using Euler's method. So now we want to find the error. So I'm just going to erase part of this equation. Sorry, 0 0.25 and this. Do, 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 do. Just a space. And our error is equal to E, the absolute value of O. Oh, it's the initial minus this. But we never said what the initial was. So let's first solve what the initial is. So one might as well have to use more space. So I might as well erase this board. And the initial we said was negative 2 over x squared plus 2. So let me grab a piece of the chalk. So we said y of x was negative 2 over x squared plus 2. So y at 1 is equal to negative 2 over 1 squared plus 2, or just negative 2 thirds, which is negative 0.666, uh, whatever, it's just negative 6 repeating. You know what it is, a bunch of 6s. All right. So, as I was saying, our error is equal to the absolute value of our, y, our actual y at 1, so negative 2 thirds, minus what our estimated value was. So that was negative 0.699. Zero two four nine two eight dot 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 dot. So that is equal to point zero three two five three five eight two six one. Okay, so this is our error. Bam, awesome. And then our last step is to know the percent error. Percent error. We're almost done. So exciting. <laughs> so that's equal to 100 times the absolute value of our error, which we just found, over the actual value. So that's equal to 100 times the absolute value of about 0 0.03. 2, 5 over negative 2 thirds, which comes out to about 4.8803739392%. So, here you go. Stand over here. So, we solved the initial value problem, found what y of 1 is actually. We used Euler's method to approximate what it was, found the error, and then found the percent error. There you go.